Hot. Loved ones, friends, and representatives from two countries came to pay their respects to an icon in military aviation at a ceremony in Provo, Utah. Remembered and honored for the next generations. Gail Halverson, retired Air Force Colonel, also known as the Candy Bomber, is being celebrated for a life and career centered around helping others. To me, he's, he's a kind of angel, and very many, many Germans think the same way. He represents the kindness, the kindness of America. We had the care packages, you all know the story. That story began in 1948 during the Berlin Airlift, later named Operation Vittles, when a then 27-year-old Lieutenant Halverson noticed the conditions the children of Berlin were living in and wanted to help. What started with handing out gum and candy from his ration pack would later evolve into airdropping nearly 23 tons of candy to the children of Berlin using handkerchief parachutes. He demonstrated belief in selfless service and used that belief to drive his decisions in everything he did. The idea of helping one another is stronger than the, than the feelings of anger if we just nurture it. He became a legendary figure on both sides of the Atlantic. The first chocolate my mom had was an American one. Remembered by some of Germany's most prominent figures. I just passed over a letter to the family of the president of the Federal Republic of Germany. The mayor of Berlin wrote her condolences. So there was a lot of media coverage and a lot of condolences from Germany because he is not only an American hero, <coughs> he is also a German hero. And his impact is still felt today. I would say he is in Germany really famous today, even in the young generation, and he is the symbol of the German-American friendship. In my view, he's still alive. He will always be alive in our hearts.